Ah, oh, we got ourselves Frost Boss, the man, the man. Dude, I love his little set from Shadowlands. It looks so good. It looks so good with his stature. I think it looks even better. Leo, first up versus it's gonna be Zekon over for the team too. Breath and everything is available. Yes, Death Knights are playing Breath by the looks of it. I'm told that that's apparently really good. Massive Reapers. Mark does get himself the big exterminate cleaves onto Zekon and Zekon having to go for lay on hands really, really early there. But it still looks like the pressure from the Death Knight is still keeping him on his toes right now. Leo does take quite a bit of damage. How much will summon up a ghoul and sacrifice it immediately? Juice nothing for all of its health as best as possible. Zekon just trying to see if he can get line inside of Leo. So you can just keep hitting him from a distance. Trying to go for a quick kick. Maybe if you get the cast off. If Leo kicks that cast that's doing Glare cast, he'll be in a great spot. If you, especially if you get damage. Especially if he gets a burst you can pump in. Because he, he's going to lock him out on holy. No bubble, no bop, no heals, no nothing. Literally can't do anything about it. Leo with a quick grip. Blind, try to see if he can stack up a stun onto Zekon. Should be able to. Blind is going to help him out here a ton. Because he's just going to be able to at least avoid a good portion of that Leo's damage. Silence to follow. Try to see if he can keep the pressure rolling in. A bubble could separate this damage and just completely shut down Leo, though. Does have a shield of vengeance. I think Zekon is just trying to see if he can maximize the offensive. Like, shield of vengeance even defensively. Big cleave onto Zekon. It's just not enough damage to break past him. Does get a bubble with a regenerating. And Liu can't respond. Got him some first aid, but Don Light is going to knock those bandages out of his hand does have a dome ams on the death pack so he's kind of running low on cooldowns zekon still has a i don't think he has a bop i mean technically i think he can bop but with how much frost damage leo does i don't know if there's anything he could do i think for leo ams death pack he's just trying to see if he can tank up until all the cooldowns available stun for stun drink it out for zekon leo is not in a great spot especially with that serum glare he can respond he has to play super super safe and defensive until at least the blinding effect goes away does get himself a full blind onto zekon with a death pack blessing of protection he could potentially just go breathe he could go for breath and blast past the defenses. Does get himself a silence. Big hits. Oh, and the Reapers mark together with a scythe. It is pure frost damage, or rather shadow frost, for a lot of the Deathbringer abilities. So all of that just cuts right through the blessing of protection. It don't do nothing. We got ourselves, what is it? Uh, Axe on the team. We got ourselves Cracker is going to be up next. Caligore to that team, as well as Aeron. <laughs> Every time I see the name Aeron, I'm like, hey, Aeron. Every time, dude. Key and Peel, I feel like, ruined the name Aaron. Aaron, just ruined it completely. <laughs> Absolutely ruined it. <laughs> I'm so sorry to every Aaron out there. I'm sure you heard the joke a billion times at this point. Full breath, burst out for Leo. Parry up for Cracker. Can't stop a lot of the frost damage, but he can stop a lot of the physical damage. Also, some obliterates. Parrying them back to back. Taking the damage from the Death Knight onto Pando right now. Pando trying to keep the pressure rolling in. Cracker just needs to take that damage and momentum, but we'll need to peel away as soon as things are in a bit of a trouble right now. Stun onto Pando for just a second. Trinket. And there goes Cracker with a quick fear. I mean, he might be able to back away from Pando far enough. Is able to leap away. Second one potentially helping him recover. Pander is just going to chill back and get himself as much healing as he can. If he can rush over there to Kragar to stop second wind. Because he's going to start healing any moment. Or does he not heal? There goes a stun. He hasn't got a heal at all. Is he dotted? Is he not around second wind? What is happening? He does recover quite a bit of health through combat damage or combat healing, but he did not get a lot of value from second wind. Knocked up in the air for just a second. The panda with plenty of shields available. Kragger does not have much to really work with here. No parry, no nothing. He can maybe stun panda, but it's going to be so DR'd. He does go for the stun, leaping away, just trying to see if he can back away his images and charging at him. Hold on a second. Hold on a moment. He needs a second wind. He needs a second wind. Picks up a little bit of health here. Battle stance available. Next, next Super Panda could be really deadly. He goes Lexi. It doesn't feel good. He does have Rally and Cry, so maybe Cracker can make something work here. Does go for a Colossal Smash on the Panda. Both are very, very low. Karma to follow. He can't respond. He has to go for a Rally. Parry instead. He just tried to see if he could parry. I think he did use Rally too, actually. Yeah, looks like he did use Rally. With a quick stun. Demolish right after. Is that enough? Oh my god. <laughs> It looks so good. I love you know what when it comes to pandas and the uh, the death animation It is very 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 What's the best word here animated? <laughs> so when he got literally dropped down by a big old demolish with that final haymaker from uptown. <laughs> oh It looks so good. It actually looks so good 
It looks like you really got hit by a big demolish, doesn't it? Like, it just looks so animated. Full defenses and offensive on a frost boss. Got himself the breath. Full burst. Everything available. I'm trying to switch over to the guy. Grip onto Kragger. Trying to make sure that he can't go anywhere. Blaze storm. So at least Kragger got himself a bit of movement. Stun onto frost boss. He can't escape this one right now. Could potentially be maybe in a bit of trouble. Bleeds around for Kragger. Hold on. Warrior got himself an opportunity to potentially end this. Big demolish onto the DK. He does go for the death pack to give himself a little bit more health to work with. Yet another stun and got himself a mortal strike. And Zimbox is not going to give Kragger even a chance to recover. Technically, as a trinket. Does go for the neutral. I don't know how much health he's got to work with. He picks up a little bit of health, a little bit of damage. But Zimbox just needs a little more damage and he got him. And he got him air on up next. Try to see if he has himself a proper go. Lexion, but a zip box. As he got himself a full conduit, just pulsating on the guy. Bark skin and wall should help Zimbox survive this. But for Eric, now he's in a great spot. Cyclone, he could just shrink it. He's not going to shrink it. He's not going to shrink it. Doesn't need to get himself a bit of a reset. Zimbox needs to catch a restealth. Does get locked out though out of that stealth with a kick. Aaron trying to see if he can end this right there. He could potentially do it. He's got himself plenty of defenses, plenty of offenses. Zimbox with the heart of the wild can maybe at least heal while in bear form, but oh, as soon as he pop out of the bear form in the cat, that's over. Aaron just had a lot of potential damage here, just ready to go. Yeah, it is tough, man. Saya up next. Last one over for that team. Aaron able to give himself a bit of a health recovery. He might just want to stay in there and soothe himself to full. But it looks like with the Blessing of Protection, Saya just trying to see if he can end the zone right then and there. Aaron does not have a defense to work with. Got him some ports, maybe a bit of healing, but it's barely doing anything for him. He's got Soothing Mist, but it's just not enough to recover. In cap, he got CC, but it's just not enough for him to stabilize. Picked up a lot of health there with a the shield, though. Hold on a second. Maybe he can force something out of Saya, at least force a bubble. Maybe for some bubble. Shield of Venice for Saya. But it, it's, it's not the greatest defensive this high into the opening. It's, it's going to absorb some damage, but not a crazy amount. Rigged piece for Aeron. I don't know how you recover this. I don't know how you recover. I don't know how you recover. Holy, it's a lot of damage you're taking. What do you do in this situation? What do you do? In cap, just try to see if you can run. You are dawn lighted, so you're constantly ticking down with the dot, though. It's done. It is over. It is lights. It is done. There's just no way. All right, between the two warriors, between Caligorn and uh, Axe, I really think they potentially could bring it back. Saya placing a sink is so perfect there. Perfectly set up for that stun. So he doesn't have to sit there for too long. Does not let Caligorn get a proper setup at all. And in fact, actually, Saya is the one putting in the pressure into the warrior's health bar. He's got parry. He's got banner. He's got a lot of stuff to really make someone work here. But Caligorn is just not in an amazing spot right now. Saya has Layer Hands, unless he's already used it, which I feel like Layer Hands doesn't show up super well in UI anymore. Ever since like the Pally rework. He does have Bubble. I'm going to assume he has Layer Hands because I haven't seen him use it yet. That or I missed it. But it's a stun. Maybe potential summon Caligorn to can work with. Banner down. So Saya knows to take down the banner before stunning Caligorn. He doesn't have no damage to take down the warrior. There goes the lay on hands. Caligorn got parry. The best he can do right now is just stay in and do as much damage as possible. Into a battle master shrink and into a rally cry. Maybe defensive stance and do as much damage as he can to break past the exterior of Saya. Goes in for a quick fear, but he trinkets out of it. Caligorn does not have much places where he can really go to escape. Saya does go for reflect, but I thought it was like the sun back of the guy. Full blades are up. Second stun right after. Do you have any damage to follow up? That's the best you can do right now. Trinkets just to keep the pressure rolling in. Wake up matches for Saya. Caligorn does pick up a little bit more health. Big demolish. Does for some bubble out of him. Oh, wait a second. Caligorn. I actually think Caligorn just gave you a win condition. There's no more bubble, no more bop. He's got both of them out. I feel like Caligorn did exactly what his warrior you're supposed to do. You can't outrun him. You can't reset him for second win. At some point, you just have to hit him with a big demolish if he's right next to you and just go in for full damage. Saya might be in a bit of trouble here. Axe is giving him as much of an auto as possible just to make sure that Saya has at least like, hey, proper auto duel. He's giving him time. He's giving him a second. The man can't run out any moment though. Don't want to give him the bubble or bob if you can help it. I don't think you're going to win this because if he goes in, even for a lay, lay on hands, he's just going to get a full heal. Or is he just letting him get like full cooldowns? Hold on. Is he trying to let him get full CDs? No shot. What an honorable guy. Is it, are they trying to actually duel each other? 
Looks like they are. Looks like at some point, Sai is the one who decided, I'm just going to go in. Blessing of Protection immediately. Axe leaping away. She got himself a blaze storm. Fast, so speedy little blaze storm there. He just zoomed him, zoomed him out of there. As he's not in a great spot right now, though. Does get hit with a full parry. And that's a stun by Saya. Blind to follow. I don't know if Axe has a win condition here at all. He just blinded. He got himself a veer, but I don't think that connects. Rally Cry is all he's got into a disarm with Josiah, but you can't really deny them the damage into a reflect. Reflect on something, not a hodge or anything though. Shield of Edits with a wake of ashes is just no shot. This man really wanted to give this guy a proper hot to do it, but gave Saya an opportunity to land the third one. As a warrior, I think there's literally no way to beat a paladin right now. And I honestly thought, because the guy before you, Caligorn, he was doing a really good job. He gave you an opportunity, right? He gave you a win condition, and the guy was just like, I'm too honorable. I want to make sure it's an even match. I don't think you win an even match against a pally. I'm not even joking.